Hello from the Bridgeport Trailhead. Today we're going to be hiking the Big Dominguez Canyon for a full trail guide of the Big Dominguez Canyon. You can check the link in the description below. So out here just south of Grand Junction in uh, the Dominguez Canyon Wilderness and there's some really awesome hikes out here and also some cool backcountry camping. Today just going to be doing an out and back hike. Really you can make this hike as long as you want but we're going to be shooting for somewhere in the 12 to 14-ish mile range. Absolutely beautiful start here. There is kind of like a lower trailhead you can go to and you're gonna hike along the river for a bit and then cross right up here. You can check out the hat I'm wearing. I'll link in the description below. In addition to some other virtual Sherpa gear. This will be the right you want to take. Go across a bridge previous to this one. It says do not enter. This one is the public access. informational sign we just passed said that this whole canyon is 22 miles long. Big Dominguez Canyon. Um, so we'll probably not do all of it, but uh, there's a waterfall that's about another mile from here. We're just about two miles in. That's really popular. And then if you keep going, there are petroglyphs and then some old uh, shelters as well. I don't think this is very old, but still cool. Pretty awesome petroglyphs here. You can also tell there's a fire here a super long time ago based on the way the rock has been burnt as well. Just past the ones that have the sign, you can see these ones as well. Pretty freaking cool. And then people who are douchey and they write their names on there, pretty freaking not cool. Really cool stuff. There's a, in this area, it seems like there's a camp at some time. Definitely take some time and, and check them out. It's really cool to try to like decipher the story and try to see what they're saying, you know? This is the uh, dinosaur mouth here. Lizard, whatever you want to call it. I think it's supposed to be a dinosaur. Pretty funny. Looking back, beautiful, beautiful little canyon here. Let's quickly talk about gear for this hike. I'll link everything Jackie and I are using in the links in the description below, but this one's pretty simple. Water, snacks, backpack, shoes, protection from the sun, you're ready to rip. I would avoid this one in the summer if you're bringing a dog, but otherwise it is a very dog friendly hike. Looks like a mini bridge or arch back there, pretty cool. And then there's another one that's forming right there too. There seems to be an echo here. We're just about five miles in to the canyon and I think we're gonna turn around here. We're not really sure what else we'd be seeing past this point, but 
I'm sure someone in the comments will be like, oh, if you just hiked 200 more feet, there's a golden throne you can take a piece of. Just getting a little too hot for everybody, including the dog, so uh, we're gonna call it a turnaround here. Look at where we came. And a look at where the canyon keeps going. So it basically just goes out and eventually ends. Well, this looks like as good of a spot as ever to wrap up this video. So uh, big Dominguez Canyon overall, pretty cool hike. Obviously, again, we didn't hike through the whole thing, but for a day hike, I feel like we saw pretty much what everybody else comes here to see for a full trail guide of this hike. You can check the link in the description below. If you're new to my channel, I do virtual trail guides here in Colorado and beyond. So go ahead and hit that like button. If you found this video helpful, as always, please subscribe not to miss any future hike related content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next adventure.